In this video, we are going to take a look at the outline and thumbnail panels in iBooks Author, as well as how to use the layouts option. For this tutorial, all you are going to need is iBooks Author. The default when you open the program will be the page thumbnail view. This gives you thumbnail images of each of your pages. If you don't want this for whatever reason, you can just go up to the view menu and select book outline. You will only be able to see chapter and section headings in this mode, so if you want a page by page view, thumbnail is the way to go. Outline view will give you a better overview of your iBook, while thumbnail will allow you to see each page individually. The other option for this sidebar is show layouts, and this is an important one to know. Again, go to view. Select show layouts, and the ones that show up are basically the master templates for your iBook. Anything you change to the layout will change throughout the iBook. For example, if you want to put the same background on each page, you could insert the same image over and over, or you could simply drop and arrange the image in the layout. When you look at the layout panel, you will see three different layout options, chapter, section, and pages. This will be explained in another video, but these are the three different page types in iBooks Author. If you add an image to the chapter layout, it will only affect the chapter pages you have added to your iBook. So I've just shown you the differences between the outline and the thumbnail views, and a brief introduction to the show layout option. For this tutorial and much more, check out ecjournal.com backslash DIY journal.